There was this other video that I saw on YouTube recently. Um, it came up in my recommender for some reason. Maybe I was just absorbing a lot of Ramadan content. Um, by the way, I've been watching a lot of debates. Like, I don't know if you guys ever watch like, like Islamic debates, Islam versus atheist or like Christian versus Hindu, like random things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But like on cut, huh? but like how cut has those like debates where they put like no, that, two different types of people. No, that's like a, just a very sort of niche liberal thing of let's get people to meet and see what they say or whatever. Um, but they literally put, okay, go ahead. Yeah. yeah they, I know what you're talking about like they have, oh, conservatives talk to each other, whatever yeah. too. But um, no, because also they're all in from a certain region and stuff. Anyways, um, <laughs> the, de <laughs> the debates uh, are like either on the street. So they're having them like somebody might be at a gay parade and they're like talking to those people. Um, or they'll actually have a civilized, like organized debate of like, this is a known atheist. This is a known uh, Muslim debater. And like, they kind of go at it, but they're so entertaining. And um, I've just been consuming so much of it. You gotta send some ever... of those links up, our way. Yeah, I'll send it to you if you do, want. Do people like, come out like, oh yeah, he totally owned him when he said this. Like, no, how the comments no like... uh, the, the culture of, if you watch those yeah. is of total respect. It's like, like, you know, at your house one time we were talking, um, we were kind of going back and forth of like the things that we believe and basically what you prioritize, whether it's um, seeing before believing, believing before seeing, things yeah, like yeah. that and what the context is of it. And at the end of that conversation, we res we understand where the other person is coming, coming from. from. Yeah, yeah. That's the culture of a lot of these. And it's not like necessarily this person wins, that person wins. It's like- That's a good point. Can you, can like, you come up with an opposing uh, argument for this? And they actually break down- because uh, in the debate, there has to be certain rules and regulations of like, what are we defining as, you know, probable and scientific and, um, you know, what are the things we can't explain, right? So it's not just like, oh, well, in the Quran, it says this, so explain that, yeah. you know? So like most of the time, both parties learn something from each other. Yeah, it's totally like, sometimes it does get, um, it depends on who's there. Like there was this one guy, this old dude that was there. Um, he was an atheist and he was just like, well, you know, I just don't understand why you guys have to do this to your women. And it was just like, hold on. <laughs> We're talking about like theory of universe and stuff right now. Like you can't just yeah. bring that up. And that's mm -hmm. a very immature sort of style of debating. That's what you might see on the street. But yeah, I mean, like uh, if anybody wants to know, there's this guy, his name is Muhammad Hijab. Um, I really like his stuff. Uh, I would love to know if anybody else has other things. Because um, I like the respect of it and I like knowing the actual explanation when I'm myself thinking like, yeah, why does it say this in our religion? Is that explainable? Or is that like, you know, mm -hmm. whatever. And them either making sense of it or, you know, proving it or whatever. It's just like, it's nice to mm -hmm. sort of hear that aspect that like you don't usually hear. Um, anyways. Yeah. So th there was, I got this video recommended um, after I've been consuming all that content. It says sneaking into an NBA game to give Kyrie Irving a Quran. Bruh. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> It's so funny because like, uh, I think we spoke about this recently, but Kyrie Irving uh, was saying that he was trying to practice Ramadan with his Muslim brothers and sisters. And people were speculating that, yeah, has he converted? What's going on with that, right? So obviously Muslims, you know, especially around it. our age, we're like, oh my God, Ky brother Kyrie Irving. Awesome, whatever. yeah. And this is a case of that. Like, um, I'm sure he has access to a Quran or already has one. Wait, so someone snuck into this game. You, have you ever seen those videos where it's like, like that guy, Eric? Like a streaker? On YouTube? Huh? No, not a streaker. Not a streaker, but, but like it says, uh, we snuck into um, the yeah, front yeah. row of the Jake Paul fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or People like we snuck in, uh, yeah, yeah. Super Bowl tickets and they'll print and Photoshop tickets. Yeah. And then they'll, mm. you know, use certain security tactics and whatever else to be able to pull off what they did. Yeah. So that's what these guys attempted, but I never saw it in this way. Like, yeah. It was it a video or is it just it's like a, an article? It's a full video. It's oh, this guy, awesome. uh, Way of Life, Way of Life's Q. What um, happened? He has. 200k subscribers. Nice. So he's a big guy. Um, and basically him and his friends, he calls them the Zum Zum Boys. <laughs> and they got excited off of this thing. They were like, you know, we've seen enough evidence. We need to get, they made a little package with a Quran, a um, a prayer mat and some dates. That's, awesome. and they were That's like, really cute. Our goal is to get this to Kyrie. So they went through the, with the whole thing that YouTubers usually do where they, get, um, you know, the Photoshop tickets and this and yeah. that. They bought these tickets and um, 
basically they snuck into another section. And the idea was when Kyrie passes through the tunnel, they wanted to hand him the Quran. Yeah. So what ended up happening uh, was that they were able to get to the section and then they were trying to make it towards the tunnel. And they were already kind of like hot because yeah. the security was um, looking around and questioning him over and over. There was the one opportunity where Kyrie was finally leaving. And then um, the guy that was supposed to give it to him, he got stopped by security, told to go back. But Kyrie caught a glance of their sign. They said, well, it said like, welcome to Islam, Kyrie or something. Mm -hmm. He caught one glance of it. Just like you see it in the video. They put in ultra, ultra slow motion. Barely caught one glance of it. And then you see him leave and they were like, all right, like we tried our best, like, you know, whatever happened. And then Kyrie comes back out of the tunnel, wow. points to the dude and is like, he takes off his jersey. So the guy was debating. He's like, should I like, I don't want to throw the Quran because, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, we're yeah. not supposed to have it on the ground. And, and that's just disrespectful because he was going to like, he's like, should, yeah, he yeah. was thinking in the moment, should I just like, toss it to him, him yeah. if he glanced or whatever. And he didn't even catch that he glanced at him. But then when he came out, he took off his jersey, Kyrie, and threw it to him. Wow. So, so they got uh, Kyrie Irving's jersey. They uh -huh. didn't get to give him the whole thing, the Quran. It was and, just kind and of the like a quick order. interaction. But he, they literally got Kyrie Irving's jersey wow. out of that entire thing. And then, That's crazy. And then they gave away the um, the dates uh, and and stuff. They fed it to like homeless people, and then they gave this one homeless man the prayer mat uh, who wanted who had an interest in Islam or something like that. So awesome. they still put it to use. So which was Guys, really cool imagine how Kyrie must have felt when he saw that sign for him to be like, I'm gonna go out there and give him the jersey. Like he probably felt like that. Like it, it made him feel Accepted. at least something. Yeah, yeah, for him to be like. Let me go back and interact with that because he has people all the time, you know, like everybody shouting um, at you, especially through the tunnel. Like, yeah. Me, and also, me. there's also so many people online who are like saying stuff or whatever. But like the fact that somebody came and is like, hey, welcome to Islam. He could have been like, oh, that was sweet. He kept moving. But it meant enough for him yeah. to feel something to come back and acknowledge yeah. it properly. Like on that note, like people are like, yeah, just let me get a picture and they leave or they're like, mm -hmm. you know, uh, sign this basketball or something. This was like, yeah. welcome to our religion. Yeah. Like no yeah. matter what you think of the actual religion or the act of, you know, I guess, um, you know, spreading your faith and, and being vocal about it. The gesture of, as you're explaining, instead of just like, picture and then looking at the picture instead of even acknowledging the person you see this all the time where they're like excited to post it and let their friends know that i took a picture with this person they're trying to gift him mm -hmm. something and and make him feel a part of something that they belong to you yeah. know it could have been that they belong to a car racing um group yeah. and Kyrie just expressed that he's into a certain car and then you know they could have welcomed him, welcomed him into that so it, it's not about the actual religion that were uh, that is the community the gesture but it's mm -hmm. the community right yeah. and that's an incredible thing i always wonder with these things like what's the repercussion of having this posted and blowing up online like does the you know barclay center look at that and be like yo this no dude Quran. just like no no not that uh, but like this dude just no, like they finessed finessed his way, i mean you, stole a spot and like it's getting big yeah like, is there any legal action? With I mean, that? Like, going forward, like this is a trend on YouTube, apparently. Mm -hmm. A lot of people so, are doing it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So a like, lot of people are attempting All it. these stadiums, they're probably going to have mad security, like scanning, stuff like that. Maybe eye scans, who knows? Like, but Photoshop is getting better. Yeah. Like people's yeah. abilities to do all that stuff. And before, is getting better. like you, you, like I remember like, you, they used to like mail you tickets too. So it was like that specific type of thing. But like, no, you know you can print it on whatever digital, paper yeah. so or yeah. you can just show your phone the scope like the scanner maybe they'll be like maybe you have to like scan per section or something nfts are the only answer oh my god i've heard of this <laughs> no really i've heard of this nft tickets so it's only one of one that uh you know you'd be getting access to rather than like just something that you scan which can be duplicated or or replaced so an NFT. But I mean, like people have been making fake tickets and stuff like that probably for a couple of years now. Um, they probably just make so much money still mm. on like other sales. Of it's tickets a lot of work. Yeah. That it's like, yeah, let's not like focus on the Yeah, they're making so much there. money from like regular people who are not going <laughs> to yeah. do all that. We're just casually having this conversation knowing nothing about it. They're, they're probably working on a lawsuit for this guy <laughs> right now. <laughs> he's spreading Islam <laughs> and he's stealing. That was a cool video though. I was like, it was... It was funny because um, it was just like from a different perspective than you usually see it. 
Um, but they were also just like these like innocent halal dudes that were just like, we need to give brother Kyrie this Quran. <laughs> and they're That's like funny. praying in between. Like, hold on, we'll yeah. get back to the finessing situation. We just got to pray real quick. <laughs> I, I love how like, like you usually see like really religious people. They love basketball. Yeah, because like, it <laughs> it's, it's so one funny. of the things we're allowed to do. Yeah, it's <laughs> and it's cute. It's like funny. It's you know they love like, basketball. Yeah, like they're obsessed yeah. with it. Yeah. So funny, and they play basketball at night after the uh, that's you know, star and games in general. Like they love uh, having some sort of sport competition. Yeah, that's that's but basketball. Very popular. That's like yeah, basketball number one. Because you always have a um, a mass with the basketball court. Well, yeah. also if you think about it culturally, that, right? You know, yeah. doubles as a Jummah yeah. prayer area. <laughs> in a cultural context, like when a lot of Muslims came um, from especially like South Asian um, hemisphere, it was like you were in places like New York and um, other places where there's uh, a lot of African-Americans that reside and, and a lot of us assimilated um, or tried to, um, you know, blend our culture with what we grew up seeing. And a lot of that was you know, the sort of beauty of the community that was there that, um, you know, black people already had, which basketball, no matter where you go, it's something that you'll see, um, you know, it's not a wealthy sort of like certain sports like golf or something. You need to you have need money like to- need a whole course and everything. Yeah. Like With the basketball, you just set up a hoop and you can, can play anywhere yeah. and it brings people together. And it's this sort of common thing that like, you know, you can you can compete and have sport and have respect and yeah. Cute. So, it's it's really it's really um, a a sort of nod to that sort of cultural aspect of it. 